my question is regarding rag exploration kumar ji used to say that you should be able to look at the rag from all the angles he used to give an example of an elephant elephant looks different from the front from the side from the back and you should be similarly you should be able to explore the rag from different angles using different bandishes so my question is that how does knowing different bandishes help you explore the rag namaskar now this is a very interesting and important question you know our music is rag sangeet rag is the purpose of our music and expanding and developing upon the chosen rag becomes the purpose of the performance and what we use as a tool to develop upon the rag is a composition or a bandish what rahul is asking here is that if you choose a different composition a different bandish does it give you a different view point of the rag and more importantly does it expect you to develop rag differently now a composition is set to a tal and then the most important component of the composition becomes its mukda the mukda generally takes you to the sum and this sum becomes the most important point in the avartana now a different bandish will have a different mukda what changes the bandish is the mukda is placed in a different place on the swara scale so you could have this sama on different swara of the rag and changing this swara on the sum will decide the view point of looking at the rag the mukda could also be starting at a different point taking you towards the sum so the and the purpose of a performance is to generally create material and then come towards the mukda and glide smoothly within the mukda getting to the sum so when you change a composition the mukda changes and the mukda is repeating continuously during the development and it registers as really the face of the performance so changing the mukda changing the swara on the sum is what gives you the uh, different view points of looking at the rag and then the internal development within the avartan also has to be commensurate with this chosen bandish let us explore what happens using an example let's say rag yaman we could also look at the bandish as a song and to begin our exploration let us see what would happen if i choose different songs based in yaman and keep on changing the song the first song i can change the song I can still change the song Still another song So every song sounds very different and to me every bandish also is as distinct from each other when i choose a bandish so let us begin our journey of compositions with a with a vilambit bandish we will be playing just the mukadas of the bandish so the mukada goes
so the mukhra begins on the gandhar and the sum happens to be on the nishad the lower nishad so this lower nishad is now going to be the focus of the mukhra and hence the focus of the bandish and hence the focus of the development and performance and this suits very well because we have to begin with developing the rag in the lower parts of the range and this bandish then suits very well if i have to use the nishad as a sum in a madhyalay bandish i could even do that composition and look at a composition with some on the ray i am slightly going to increase the tempo here still have another bandish with the sum on the ray but the mukra beginning at a higher point changes because i am approaching the ray from different sides and from different distances i could now go on to another composition with some on the gandhar and now you will realize that there are numerous compositions with some on the gandhar for yama and that is because gandhar happens to be the vadi of this one bandish this sum is still on the gandhar but i begin from another point the mukta begins from another point I could use another bandish which starts off at a very different point, but then the, the sum happens to be on the gandhar. I am slightly going to increase the tempo. begins at the nishad and then comes down gliding towards the gandhar on the sum that gives a very different view point when we start expanding upon the bandish i could make a bandish with sum on the pancham I 
could have a composition with some on the nishad Suresh Tarwarkar's composition with the Nishad as the focus comes to my mind. Pandit Panna Babu ji composed a beautiful melody with uh, Nishad as the focus again. It goes. So as you see, changing a composition allows me to look at the rag from a different viewpoint because the mukhada changes, and it also forces me to make the development, create the the musical material differently to suit the composition. And so, choosing a bandish, choosing a different bandish. makes a different kind of a performance for the same rag and so for an artist it is always essential uh, to know as many compositions in the rag as uh, possible i think as an exercise it will be very interesting to find uh, similar multiple bandishes in rasi rag malkoms malkoms is one rag where you could have a uh, composition set to different tals set to different uh, layers and with some on on practically every point in the rag every swar of the rag